Hey, good morning, everybody. This is The Professor with Day Trading for Success. Today, we're going to be trading AMD 1000 shares. Make sure you read this disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor. This is just an entertainment channel only trying to show you some tricks and demonstrations of different ways uh, to trade and different strategies to trade. So make sure you seek the advice of someone you trust and trade in a simulator before you try to emulate any of these styles. So you should pause and make sure you read that. <coughs> make sure you read that whole thing. Excuse me. Um, so today we're going to be starting right at the open strategy. I have a little, I have a little bit longer to trade. Have a, uh, another group with me today. Um, we were just doing sort of a deep dive into trading in the zone uh, prior to me setting this up. So I will talk about the books a bit, but I'm going to go over um, what we have set up here first. Now, the <coughs> Jesus, sorry. <coughs> The open strategy has been um, progressing a lot, all these different styles. So it's pretty interesting uh, seeing what they're developing over there at the Million Dollar Margin Clubs. Um, you know, they have an author page and everything on Amazon. They have their own channel. So you should check it out. Oh, yeah, which reminds me that Trading in the Zone is now released over there, their own video. Basically, it's kind of like a long... <coughs> um, video explaining the entire book so you can learn through watching um you know I, it reminds me of when music videos first start whatever but it, that's not filled with music but i mean it just sort of like the the video images go along with what's being said what's being taught in the book a lot of pe being a former uh, math teacher um, i know a lot of people learn better with visual images uh, and then some can absolutely not stand it. So if you like to learn with, uh, you know, words and images to go along with it, they, they created a 19-minute video that is amazing, and it definitely covers everything Mark Douglas is trying to say in the book, um, and I highly advise uh, seeing it. So it's over at the million-dollar-margin-club. That's their channel. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I would definitely... I would definitely check that out. Um, so anyway, how did we set this up? So we're going to be trading the open. So because we're trading the open, I did mark pre-market high and pre-market low. You see those marked right there in the one-minute chart. I also have the intraday volume profile set up to trade uh, this along with as we slip into the RV strategy. So we teach three different strategies here. Um, open strategy, RV strategy, and the escalator strategy sometimes. So that doesn't come into play very often. So this is set up sort of for jointly, both RV and open. So the way we do that is we also look at the close of the previous day, which in this case is this one right here, $179.65. Uh, and then we look at the ATR, which was $9.15 over a 14-day period. Uh, a lot of the open strategies, by the way, are taking like two two-day ATRs, five-day ATRs. It's quite interesting what they're back testing to come up with um, the first five minutes of trading, and then you're out. Five minutes, you're out. I, I love the idea. Like you just trade five minutes, you go home. <laughs> That's it. And they're getting really high accuracy ratings based on their back testing. So that'll be really fun to see what develops there. But anyway, after you get that. ATR down here from the close, you divide it by two, and then you subtract half from the close to get the ATR low and add half to the close to get the ATR high. So we're going to be trading in just a few minutes, guys, at the open. So I'm going to go through this pretty quick. So that's your range bound as we get into the RV strategy, but it doesn't hurt to see those for the open strategy too. And then we're going to try to create some channels within there, ceilings and floors. So we go back and I use the one hour so I could get some uh, tighter channels. There wasn't enough four hours. So I pretty much, if it wasn't picked up by a fifth, I pretty much picked it up or did some subjective, you know, averaging out to get us some support and resistance where the stock has turned around previously in the last four or five days. So that's what that is. That's what those lines are. So we're going to use those as the, and they're kind of gone. You saw them all there. But when you're on a one minute chart, you know, they're they're spread out quite a bit. Now, you're not going to get huge movements with AMD, but it has a catalyst this morning. So we combined the, oh, there's the Fibonacci's are marked too. So let's look at the Fibonacci's for a second. So this Fibonacci is marked um, left to right always. Um, so it's high to low in this case. Now, as you can see from the, so you always got to mark your fibs, but as you can see from this pre-market, it was going straight down. Then news came out, right? So news just came out. Barron's had something too. 
and it's good news. So there's a catalyst. So these are like perfect things to look for. So we're all expecting this stock to go up today. Um, so and it hasn't been. So when there's such a stark contrast, it's it's worth trying to give it a shot. This was brought to my attention by people who trade this stock all the time. Um, so I can't follow it. That's why it's good to be in a group where you have people that are following every little bit of, of uh, contrary information that might give you a leg up as to which direction the stock's going to go. So this is frozen right now, so don't pay attention to this right now. Once the market's open, it's going to go haywire. This is why we want to look at when we open the market. We're going to, I did a short pre-market trade and did badly uh, earlier. But when we do, um, it's particularly at the open, look at what the market maker is going to give you. Level two is going to be skewy on the first one or two minutes. So what, what the strategy I'm looking for is... Normally, the open strategy would be break the pre-market high or break the pre-market low before you go in and don't even mess around till it does that. I'm looking to maybe, I might, if it's starting to go up based on the callus, I might not wait that long. I might try to jump in a little early. So I'm saying this ahead of time so you know I'm not breaking the the, the rule of the open strategy because I've decided based on this FIB that this might be a more of a marker marker to go in. But, you know, I probably won't do that on the first one minute if it springs by there. But if it continues to go up, I might jump in. Pri I mean, I don't know what's going to happen here. It might go, shoo, shoo, you, know, I, you know, who knows, right? Um, so anyways, everybody's ready up there, I assume. Yep. So we're all ready to rock and roll. We have about a minute and a half. We'll be trading 1,000 shares. I don't expect you can see multiple. There's... Um, you multiply that by 100. You multiply these numbers by 100, guys. So, um, And then there's so much hidden that there's no problem getting filled. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. As long as you go market. If you're going to go limit, yeah, especially at the open, you might get a partial. You might not get picked up at all. Um, people don't seem to understand that you can set a price on a limit, and it can just hop right over it. You just, you can just hop right by what you wanted it for. It's it's used to happen that way with market, but very, very rarely now because these guys want to make sure you get filled. It's their reputation, the market makers, to make sure when you push a market order, you get it all filled. And uh, Swab and, uh, is uh, 3.7 times um, liquidity. So they'll, they'll, they'll multiply this by three, whatever you're, or, uh, to make sure you get filled, whatever these are, they'll do, they'll fill the rest. So that's incredible. Um, so here we go, guys, we're just about to go. So I probably won't go in immediately. Um, but we'll see what it's going to do here. So, um, I'm just going to be ready to react quickly. So we've got about two seconds. Boom, there it goes. So it drops. There's, this, there's still people selling. Amazing. New low. Wow, really tempted to get it there. Really tempted, but I'm not going to do it. Based on the catalyst, it's almost like I wanted to pick it up on that real low. But, you know, let's wait. Um, obviously, these guys can take their own trade. Oh, some of them did. So there you go. Some of you are going short. That might not be the best move in the world. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold tight till I see it at least get up to this Fibonacci level, or if it continues to drop, then um, I mean it did break the pre-market low. So theoretically, that was it just was on the first candle. So that that scares me a bit. So if you jumped in right there, then you're already out of position. So, uh, but if you got out real quick. Yeah, and then once you jump in, then you can just go long because you're not waiting for anything, right? So you've got a better – a lot of times people do that when they're playing by the rules. It's like, well, I'm already in, so now I can keep – I can go long now. And that's better than they're in a better position. I remember that used to happen in tournaments where you had to foul these rules. And it was like once you got in based on the rules, you're allowed to go long or short, long or short, long or short. So they would take a deliberate loss just so they could go long. <laughs> <laughs> before it broke through here then they get ahead of everybody else in the tournament when there gets there's i mean we have some, some tournaments still i think on this channel i think they took a lot of the, those episodes away but um the tournaments are fun when you see those um i know we had some with a bunch of students 
that was kind of fun. I think that's definitely still here. But they took away like 40 different videos from this channel and just and I keep adding, which was on the advice of um, a YouTuber or a genius or whatever, like make it less complicated. I don't know. I don't know. I got feedback that that was a bad idea. Okay, guys, I'm looking for that fib to break. If that fib breaks right, I'm going to do my long. Didn't do it. I'm gonna. I'm holding. I'm holding firm here. Okay, it broke. I'm gonna go in now. <sighs> there it goes. Okay. Man, I, I I gotta tell you, I'm a little unsure. Now remember, this is my open now. This this is the whole day because I already had a loss. There we go. Now I can't really use the scalping indicator too much yet, guys. It's not. I'm not. It's not going to give me a pattern, and it's it's dangerous to think about it as a wave yet. You know, looking at these. So um, I'm going to be my support and resistance. Like this can now be a resistance. Um, yeah, it keeps going down. Man, what a mess, huh? Keeps going down here. Come on, we'll straighten yourself out here. It's just not okay so it is it is working as a resistance right there which is a little worrisome no wow okay so now we're looking up here to the next fib and the uh, atr low back now normally always i will reverse at an atr low uh on an atr of any kind but because of the catalyst i'm i might i think i'm i think i'm gonna hold i'm glad i did okay so now we're getting up to, if we're past that, then we're looking at 176 as a possible reversal. And we're definitely going to want to, um, wow. At some point, there'll be some, you know, retracement. But this news is right. He was right. He told us that it would probably go up, even though it had been going down. And look at the look at the scalpers indicator. I mean, this is like the big wave you want to jump on with your surfboard and ride it. So, guys, you're going to want to get, I, I always talk about, um, okay, is that it? That's a great first trade, so I don't want to lose this. Wow, I just lost 200 off of that. Yeah, it might, it's not breaking that ATR. Makes me want to, uh, rever okay, one more try at that. Oh, boom, it went right through. Well, it was right through once before, so that was at 175.29. So we're almost right at its high it was a minute ago. I'm definitely going to bank this soon, either way. Wow, going to get to 176. At one se wow, it passed it for a split second. It did not show that here, though, so that's a shadow wick. Did Market Maker never gave me an option to get that high. And the fact that it pulled down like that, if I see 176, I'm going to grab it. 75 or even sooner in here that's a two thousand dollar trade i do not want to lose this it's going down now now it has the atr as a support oh man okay that was too bad it was right up at two thousand so you would get this you get regrets like i should have sold it then you want to you know keep it a little longer it's making another run at 176 can i get it up there 83.91 Man, I'm telling you, I should have just snagged it right there at 91. It was a split. Of course, I don't know what this spread would have got me there. Uh, the slippage is pretty intense here. I'm, I'm assuming I'm, it looks like it. Wow. And that is a reversal pattern starting there, a doji. I don't know if it's going to complete. We're right at 19 out of 2,000. Looks like a great area for a second for it to get out as well, $2,000. 176 or two thousand dollars wow is it just going to keep going what is that 175.93 i banked over two wow i got ready to reverse again <laughs> that's a good trade guys good opening trade let's see here now i've got a cushion so probably if i see it break 176.50 Remember, this is what the number I really need. Oh, these finally look like they reconcile. Good. Um, this is what I really need to look at here. Um, 
So, uh, but the level two seems to have caught up, and I, I caught up. I, I like to look at the ask a lot uh, when I trade, and then of course I'm looking down the pike. Well, look at the 15 minute just. Uh, Let me get some of these straightened out while I'm waiting here on this this thing to make it. Oh, is it not going to help me out here again? There we go. Okay. So everything's is up, 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 which means I'm probably in the wrong position, but it looks pretty good right now. So this 170, is that 176? Yeah, that's 176 seems to be. Now remember, these even in half dollars are psychological um, areas where people will turn around. The 50 cent and the, and the even dollar are often um, areas. This seems to be, and these lines are where the stock turned around before as well. That's why I look at them and try to respect them. And they, it just blew through the others, although there was some hesitation here. Um, but its stock is going up, which means with this cow, it might just keep going way up. So we need to be prepared for that. I'm going to take that reverse. Uh, and I think I liked, I prefer to be going the right way here on this trade. Oh, that's not good though. 23. Oh, wow. Okay. No, it broke the ATR. I, I'm This is a losing trade. Losing trade. Let me see if it bounces back for me. 320. I'm going to take a, a lesser loss. That's how badly I felt about my position. So, yeah, I think overall I lost only about $300 there. And now it's going the way I wanted it to go, back to even money. Uh, all right, so this is tough. All of these are reversal patterns. All right, so that's a hanging man. This is just basically undecided, but this is, this is definitely a um, bearish doji, almost a rickshaw man. So, uh, and now, so the, all these are saying, look for it to go down. I have it 75, 175.15. Um, wow. Definitely, definitely got it the wrong way both times. This suddenly got harder. Let's see. Ah, oh, the point of control pulled up to go long. We're going to want, we're in the wrong, we're in the wrong spot here, guys, so. Yeah, I don't want to lose more than a thousand per trade, but um, I need to slow down a little bit here and not do a bunch of short scalps right here. So we see it get up here, then you're going to see me reverse. Now this got pulled right up. You saw it come up with the point of control here. This is giving it strength to go up. That's the way I look at it. Now this is stuff that's already happened, but um, everybody sees it and everybody sees the confidence of all this is where most of the price action is right here not down here which is what i'm playing it's up here so i'm going the wrong way right now so i'm looking for an opportunity to go the right way even though these reversal patterns said it was going down what well, did kind of go down okay okay so it might give me an opportunity to get out here seventy dollars 150 dollars keep going down guys I definitely want to turn around here. I'm looking to turn around. I'm at 175.15. I'm looking to turn around here. 90. I'd love to see green before I turn around. Back over 2,000. A little more over 2,000. A little more over 2,000. I'll take that. Okay. Now, it's probably going to keep going down a little bit, but I want to ride it long. So I'm at the ATR. Um, of course, that's going to happen, but at least I got back most of that because th that was a couple of really bad trades. Um, so um, as I was starting to say, um, <laughs> you guys are – Jesus, I'm in the lead. It, it is hard, right? Look at you. One of you is only 300. So I think you were red at first, but most people are over 1,000, 15, 18. Okay. So they're right here. But this, this little area shook me out a couple times. And I'm still a little scared because it seems to be retracing more than I thought. 
So I would say anywhere near the pre-market low high, I mean, would be a real triggering for me to be worried about going short again. I mean, these were these were reversal signs saying it's going to go short. I didn't. I, I panicked a little. I wouldn't say I panicked. I bet on that I was wrong on this. So now it's proving me that I was right. So now I'm wrong because I was right. <laughs> uh, um, it's all right. We're doing good. We're doing good. So let's try to keep the uh, keep what most of our winnings here. This is going to get a little tricky. It's not a straight up climb like at first. So, um, like I was starting to say, there's five main books I promote, and that is day, the Day Trading Series, Volume One, Two, and Three. All bestsellers. You got to own them. Uh, put out by the Million Dollar Margin Club. Uh, Trading in the Zone, put out by Mark Douglas. Another great book. You got to own it. You got to read it. You got to live it. Uh, trade it and uh, be a part of it. <laughs> be a part of it. And then Best Loser Wins, another one, a whole different perspective, which you really want to have. So those five books right there. And then if you want to uh, have the criterion to trade the open strategy, the Trading Journal Log Book um, has a criterion that I helped put that book out. Um, and uh, that, but you can get that. I have a link for it. Um, so if you want to get that book. Um, So now we're now we're on the right side of the trade, guys, which is what I thought. So let's see for it to get up to the point of control and grind here. Let's see about that. Um, and then some people that you know they talk about the speed of my computer. The this is a think or swim layout for Swab right here, um, and I put all my all my equipment has links to it. If you want, you can go right and buy it on Amazon if you want any of that equipment. It's not linked personally to me. It's linked to Amazon. Um, so <clears throat> if you're interested in that and tweaking, I do have a video that shows how to speed up your platform. So you might want to watch that. I have a video that shows how to gauge the overall market direction each day. Now, obviously, if stocks have catalysts and other things come into play, you got to think about that. But for the most part, it's, it's pretty accurate for the overall if you're doing the cues of the SPY or an ETF that is, um, you know, you just got to be, again, it's pretty accurate, but nothing's for sure. Darn it. I should have captured that. huh? Um, so this is just going to make a scalp here, I think. I was expecting more trend movement. So, you know, this spinning top here, or rickshaw man, showed this reversal, and I didn't take it. I mean, that's right in the pattern book, Day Trading Series Volume 2 and 3, Shows how to read these patterns and patterns that used to be just day patterns are now intraday patterns because of COVID and all the people that, you know, millions, like, I don't know, the brokerage accounts that got signed up after COVID, like 10 million new accounts or something, like a ridiculous amount just on Charles Schwab. So now what's happened is all those retail traders, all the individuals are now having as much clout as the, I don't know, almost as, as the institutional traders like the big drops, because collectively they can move the stocks. And what, what, how do they trade? How do they trade? They trade emotionally like you might trade. They might trade on social media. They might trade on previous action like I marked out here. Um, nobody knows for sure what trade is going to be a winning trade or not. It's just a probability and outcome, as Mark Douglas talks about. And when you set your share size, I've been starting to say this, think about 20 losing days in a row. Can you handle 20 losing days in a row? Because if you can't, then probably your share size is too high. So that might make you think realistically, like, hey, I should trade with 10 shares, five shares, three shares, um, until you see yourself green in a sim for, you know, on average, you're winning more days than, than losing, and you're actually you know, going up your account, even your simulator accounts going up, then you can think about trading live. And usually when you go from the simulator account to live, I recommend cutting it in half again until you prove the same thing live. Um, look at that action coming. Did you see that? This is why you want to set this for intraday. I'm going to make a new video about this. I, I, I got to do it sometime soon. I've just been too busy to explain this a little bit better and how to set this up. But I do have two videos out right now about it. Anyway, and then once you once you um, it starts to work for you, 
live where you're consistently green. There's just nothing, no trade to take here. I'm just, wow, that may be. Um, then you could start to scale up your shares. Holy mackerel. Now we got, I waited for this one. That's good. I waited for this one. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm going to take that, guys. I'm reversing there just mostly to bank it and the fact that it's petering out. I'm going to take it back again. So I think I got at least 100 and something with that slip. I'm going to take it again. So I'm trying to get my way to as it, well, okay, it's, it's going to catch me this time. You know, I, was trying to, I was trying to bank against it there. I might take a lesser loss. Let me see. If this keeps going up, I have to get out. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to get why it was uh, indecision. I wanted to snag some quick trades. Is it going to bounce back down? Bounce back down. I'm going to take a lesser loss at 70, and then I get to keep that uh, most of that money I made because I was about 39. Okay, so that's good. Ooh, that was uh, – wow. I'm going to take it again. It's, I got it at 176.56. It's going to pull. Is it going to shake me out here? I'm going to take that small one. It's still going long, guys. So that was quick. I told, I was telling everybody, I probably won't take many trades, less than 10. I think I just took like 10 right here in this area. But I just, it, the way this is moving is like we're going to have to stair step these scalps up, I think. Um, okay. Going the wrong way. That is at it. So that was at uh, one. So below 177. So 177 seems to be a. Uh, but we're right on the upper level of the volume profile value. And that's why these arrows are pointed this way. Again, reason to get that set it up on your chart. These get respected a lot, as you can see. You know, if everybody sets up the chart for intraday the same way. Then uh, collectively, like I was starting to say, oh wow, uh, they make the uh, they make the trades, they make these trades happen, self fulfilling. So that's at 176. I don't really want to drop below 176 here, guys. Definitely going the wrong way here. So let me see. I'm going long. I think it's still going up. It has to really convince me, although this hanging man is a reversal sign. So um, they have been working exactly like they say here. It's just smaller. Um, usually you like to see those signs on. Okay. You like to see those signs on a trend. Wow. Here we go. Is it going to break 77? Is it gonna, I'm looking to turn around at 77 unless it breaks it fast and hard. Let's see. It's, it's right there. It's right there. Come on. I'm just going to take it. I don't think it's going it, to, it looks like it's slowing down. So I wanted to bank that right at that one hour. I'm going to take it again. Now I'm going long again. Take short again. It's not slipping. It seems like it's slipping about 40 or 50 bucks, guys. So take it again to go long. I got it 176.57. And I'm almost at 5K with these short uh, scalps. I'm over five, going long again. I'm at one, almost the same position, 176.59. Two cents difference. Two cents difference. Wow. Yeah, I had broke 5K, so there was some slip there. Um, but that whole little back and forth got me like a 1000 bucks. So that was well played, if I might say so myself. But now I'm in trouble. Not a lot. Just uh, 176.59 long. So it's kind of creating a flat top here. So let's see. I'd love to see it break this, but it might break down and then head back down to the 176 mark where it seemed to be respecting it a few minutes ago. Wow. I'm going to take that again, see if it pulls back down and go long again. 
I got me another hundred and something. Yeah, I'll take that. I think it's going to keep going up. So I'm grabbing it. Uh, wow. I'm going to take, it's too much to take. I, I can, I'm making a cushion to, yep. And I got to go back to the same position without losing it. See what I was doing there? So I grabbed it, but then got back to the position I wanted to get into. So, uh, wow. Now it's breaking it. So I'm not going to pop right. I'm not going to jump right out right now. So 177, there it goes. There it goes. 177, how far up the ladder of one? I'm going to turn around there. I didn't even look at the money. I was just, uh, what did I get at 177? Wow, 133. I grab it again. Now, these are high-level scalps. Um, not everybody should try these. Uh, normally, if I was going this fast, I would definitely be using hotkeys. Um, but the slippage is not as bad as I thought. The spread's pretty tight. And these are working with market, which is great. So now it's going to sputter below this one hour again. Wow, I'll take it. 177.27. Got me almost over 6K. We're moving along. No real time to look at a lot of things here, the way this is moving. Haven't been watching the scalping indicator too much. I have noticed the volume is is swelling down here, though, as we get higher, which is telling me that it doesn't want, the air's thin up there. You know, as we get higher, it's going to bank against that. That's 6K. I'm going to take that. 712. I've got 177.12. It is going to turn around. It's turning around. That's a hanging man. Let me try to get a, a little bit better position here. I'm going to take that. I think it's going to turn around, guys. Be careful here. Those are two reversal patterns. Banking on this, on this 177.50, let's call it. But, you know, it might just be a pause like it's been doing. God, I got to take that. I'm just thinking to myself, it might just be doing the same thing it's been doing right over here. And it's just breaking back up through again. Oops, maybe not. Maybe I had it right. These are some pretty significant hanging men to turn it around. Um, and the fact that the volume was dropping going up. But now look at it here. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm going to take that. Oh, what did I do? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Clear. Cancel. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I was uh, selling the ask. Darn it. I missed that move, too. You saw it puttering around here. <laughs> um, I take that. Oops. Bye. I meant to reverse. I'm out of, I'm out of uh, sync here. I'm going to buy again. So I'm at 177.05. I got to reverse. Reverse again. I'm at 177.13. Take it again. Stair stepping up. Wow, take that. One seven, I'm back to right where I was. I just captured those scalps. In the meantime, 177.14 long. 177.14 long. We go down short again. It's 177.21 short. Look at it just sit here. It's just sitting here. So we're looking for a breakout, not a breakdown. So, wow. Can it break 177? That was a stronger than usual. Uh, wow, it did. What did I get that at? 176.99. So let's see if it falls off that. And we're up at the nine moving average there. 
There's 176.80. Okay, so I'm going the wrong way. Is this going to keep going down? Oh, man, is it breaking through that? I don't want to get stuck. Oh, dear. Going the wrong way here, guys, but I've got a huge cushion from those little scalps I made. I can kind of hold through this. Let's see, where's my point of no return here? I would say probably like halfway down. 176.50 maybe. Getting ready to take this. I just... Uh, lesser loss. I almost grabbed that for a lesser loss to get to get short again, but I'm just not sure short's where I want to be. Wow, I could have grabbed that. I was I was look I was looking at those guys. Darn it. Uh, anything over okay, I'm gonna grab that. 140. See if I can get some green that's up near a hundred again. 177.13 short. Not good, not good, not good. Now it's gonna decide to break through, huh? Going for a lesser loss in a second. Unless I'm going to take that 10 cents. <laughs> I took 10 cents rather than, but it was better than 200 down a loss, right? Broke 7K. Um, and I'm getting near my time, but I might trade a little. I said I could trade a little longer today, guys. So um, Although this is not exactly what I had in mind. This is a little exhausting. You get decision fatigue is the problem with these kinds of trades. Just And I do feel like I was like holding my breath a couple times, which is weird. It's not so much the money. It's that, you know, I want it all to go right. You know, you can't turn off your brain from wanting it to always be right. Look at that shadow. It's ridiculous. Now, I would say that that's a stronger sign of a reversal, even though it's not real. It didn't go down there. But the way I have this thing tweaked, it kind of gives you the the intent. And the fact that the hanging man goes so far down, that would make me think that it's going to go down. But because it's not a trend that it happened at the top of, it's just this weird consolidation between these two one hours. You can't really trust any of these patterns because all these are reversals. And it, it, it never, oh, wow, and it never reversed, except to right now when I'm not looking at it. So I was over 7,000, I thought, a minute ago. Um, yeah, one of you is only 1,000 bucks there. Some stuff's been going wrong. Most of you are up uh, 3, 4, 5K. Nobody's read, though, so that's good. But trying to emulate what I just did there is pretty hard. And I think even computer speed might have something to do with getting them more accurate. Um, okay, look at that. We want to see that. So volume picked up with the buyers. So that's the first time in a while. It's been, it's been changing its stripes here. So now it's starting to go up as volume goes up. So... That's a very good sign for a long position that I'm now kind of trapped in as it's right on this one hour. I don't like seeing that down here, though. Um, I don't want this point of control to pull down. So this would be um, a, re a dragonfly. This is a dragonfly pattern telling you it's going to go up. So we've got a dragonfly and we've got the scalpers indicator. By the way, all these layouts, all the indicators, everything is available for free on this channel. We don't sell any courses. Everything's free. You can find all, there we go. You can find all this stuff. So we just like you to watch and to subscribe. Give a thumbs up. That's how you can help us. Uh, and how you can help you is diversify your education, not just this channel. Uh, read the books, read other books. Don't press it. Trade in a sim, it takes years. Years. I don't care what they say. Oh, I got it in six months. Well, okay. I'm not going to call those people liars, but they are an anomaly. You know, figure two, three years to really start to see the picture in the picture kind of thing. So don't be so hard on yourself if you're struggling. 
and then and spread out, diversify who you listen to, who you watch, because at some point it clicks. At some point you find a strategy that's been working for you just between this level with this stock. Some people only trade one stock or two stock all the time. Stocks, that's all they do. They will not even go to a different stock. And then they hone in on that stock like they're like it's part of their body. You know, it's just like I know what that stock's thinking. You know, well, remember, you don't really know that. But I'm just saying like you can kind of get in the zone and and uh, oh, man. And you can. Uh, so after I just said that big thing about the dragonfly reversal sign, this coming up, then look what happened. It's like it does that because I told you that. Why does he act like he knows what he's talking about? Nobody knows which way the market's going. So true. What you can really do is just get an edge, a little bit of an edge that the probable outcome might increase. That's it, just probable. So uh, That's all you get. You don't get anybody. There's, I absolutely know. No, no. That meant solid turnaround, so I'm jumping in 5,000 shares. You know. you know, you don't know. Um, again, read trading in the zone. You kind of get the idea. So this did pop down, and that's what I, I don't. I didn't watch it happen, but it didn't used to be there, right? So that's bad because that means I'm in the wrong position. So I don't like to see that. Uh, I really need now. You got a spinning top. You got an inverted hammer, dragonfly, dragonfly. All these are saying it's going to turn around like one pattern after another. Finally. It's starting to go up. Jeez. Now, these arrows right here, the volume profile, higher value of the volume profile could turn it around. I'd like to see this pop up with it. Give me some more confidence. This is probably going to be my last trade, guys. I'm past my half hour time, so I will sell to get out. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I was not expecting that. I guess my whining helped. Is that what it was? Wow, 7,500. Man, nobody thought we'd get this high today, so this is great. Uh, so I will sell to get out. Is it going to bank off that fib and turn around? I'll ride this for. The market is giving back to me. It felt it felt sorry for me. Because it's very emotional, the market is. Not. Wow, can we get, dare I ask for 8,000? Can we get 8,000? It's a nice round number for the video. Nice for the thumbnail, 8,000. Nice. <laughs> Whoa, it broke through that fit with power, man. It broke through that with power. What is that level right there? 78.60, 79.18. So when you get into these gaps, it kind of just sucks it up a lot of the time. So you want to look for that. Damn, I should have taken I th did that. Didn't that hit 8K a second ago? I should have taken the 8K. That's going back down now. If I see 8K again, it's got to be a little over 8K because it'll slip below it. Unless I catch it on an up uptick and then I sell. I'd say 09, one more uptick. Ah, I almost sold thinking that was the uptick. That's it. 19. I'm going to get out there. Now it's going to shoot to the moon. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for me today. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember, trade in a sim. Be careful. And uh, um, I will see you at the next one. Stay green out there, guys.